the stars of Lopez versus Lopez, George and Mayan Lopez. <laughs> I'm so glad to have y'all back. Oh. I just love you so much. And George, you know. You, okay, this is what I just found out. Hmm. Because Jeffrey and I, we share a birthday. It's April 22nd, both of us. Yes. And you both were born in April as well. Yes. So, like, George, do you like sharing your birthday? Or, or the, you know, April with Mayan? No. <laughs> That's Why honest. Not? Because <laughs> April 2nd is... A, it's early in the month, yes. Aries, all beautiful people, yes, Aries. thank you, April Aries. I'm all the, the good house. gifts, purses, shoes, yes. bags, all wonderful gifts. By the time you get to the 23rd, you're stopping at the airport. Get some toffee for him, he might like it. <laughs> <laughs> a keychain, something. I'm feeling generous. A little sticker on his neck in case he gets air sick during the day. <laughs> Not the good gifts. Oh, no. Now, look, they're Mayan. You're an Aries. Yes. Now, you're an Aries. Your dad is a Taurus mm -hmm. like me, because you're April, you're April 23rd. Yes. So, like, how big of a difference is an Aries-Taurus match? Yeah, I think they're equally going to be, it's like, you know, it's the bull and the ram, and I think yeah. that's like, <laughs> Lopez versus Lopez could be Aries versus Taurus. I think, yeah, because I know Jeffrey and I, we're both stubborn, so we yes. do but his. See, I have like the fire, and I keep pushing, and then he just pushes back, and hey, and it's, it's, it works. It works. And it works. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> sitcom. Remember, we didn't speak for 10 years, so that's Aries Taurus. That's the Aries Taurus. But then now, yeah. and, I, and I love it because but you found the Aries Taurus found a way to like get together Yay. and love again because we watch that every <laughs> oh, week God, on Lopez versus Lopez. Thank you. Now, Mayan, what I love, because I've known you so long, mm -hmm. I love that you celebrate your success with women like yes. my good friend Lisa Ann Walter. Yes. And you've had mentors in your life. Lisa Ann Walter's on Abbott Elementary. Mm -hmm. Like, what does her support mean to you? You know, we've uh, Lisa's been, she's a part of my heart. You know, yeah. she's like one of my mommies. Mm -hmm. And really, she's supported me and seen my greatness almost before I saw myself. She mm -hmm. knew that I had something and kept always pushing me, always supporting me when I was studying at Second City and studying yeah. improv. And I've always looked up to her, not only as a person and a mother, but as an actress. And to even have this picture with me and Cheryl, I'm like, I have to have it framed in my house. If it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's just such a wonderful, but it's the joy that we have yeah. with one another and to be able to be supportive and to us both be on shows at the same, at the same time. time. It's very, yeah. it's a really kismet and beautiful moment in time. So it's just, I'm so grateful for her. I really am. I it's love her so much. It's so funny because every time you were around, everybody saw how funny you were. Like, I think everybody, we all knew you mm -hmm. had something inside. So it's so exciting <laughs> yeah. to see you, you like having your own show and yes. you're the star and the executive producer you Whoa. write just it. everything thank you thank you yeah. but you know george M mayan was always such a sweet girl and you would bring her to the comedy yes. clubs mm -hmm. like when did you when did look at that right here at the improv so what did my do you do you have an early memory of mayan making you laugh well that picture of me right there i look like my own aunt now <laughs> Yes. No, Miko, put her down. Put her down. <laughs> uh, my, Maya's been funny. Her, Maya. It looks good. Don't. I can't look at myself. We're calling Maya, this, the joke of this season is calling him Alberto Einstein. That's what this. I it, like the look. It's, that's what it's giving. It's very sexy, <laughs> intellectual, George. Yes. E equals equally m squared. Uh, <laughs> my, Mayan's always been funny. You know, when yeah. we had a house up in in, in uh, Monterey, uh, mm -hmm. you know, she would find Anne's bra, you know, which is very ample, <laughs> and uh, mama's bra, and, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and put it on. So they had these these cup eyes, and I pretend she, I was a fly. And you was a fly with the bra on your and head. I go, and I go buzz. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom be like, Mayan, 
You know. And then she found some sunglasses. I only had one lens and wore them for a month. You know, just walk around with one lens. And I commit to the bit. You commit to the bit. Did you like making your father laugh? Yeah, you know, even to, even now, like sometimes when we are in scenes, like I will, br if I break him, or I keep it, or if I make a joke and he's silent, I know I really got him. Really? Because when there's no retort, uh -huh. you know, he ain't got nothing to come that's back like, at you. If, you if you silence a comedian, that's yeah, you did like good. Uh, you did good. Well, one, you did one good. time, one time we were in the car and, and when, oh. when marijuana was starting to, sh the signs were. Yes. With the green cross, and I, I looked at Mayan, and, and she's looking at the green cross, and I said, I said, uh, I, know. I said, hey, Mayan, you know, drugs are, are really, really bad for you, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and you got to really be, be careful, you know, in the future. Yeah. And she goes, I know, Dad. And then she started doing. <laughs> 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 you know. Enough said right there. Yeah. <laughs> This is what I love, because this is what I watch oh, every week on Lopez versus Lopez, oh. this dynamic between you and your father. And, like, I don't, I want to say, like, I know your parents were divorced, mm -hmm. Mayan. They got divorced. Everybody was estranged. So how did it go from being estranged to this, when you're at your rap party and everybody oh, was geez. having a good time? There's your mama and there's your... Oh. What is going on here? Yeah. Estrangement, not kissing. Well... Now they like to do it as like a bit to get to me. So they do it to, to get and, you? Yes. And also really? a little bit of that. <laughs> and, uh, so like when you watch them kissing. A little bits and juice. Okay, you know? little bits and juice. <laughs> like watch it. Joke, I can... and, joke and juice. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, oh, My mom was serenading him. Like and, she's straddling your dad. You know. And it looks like something's about to like happen. How you feel when you see this? We just love to torture him. <laughs> like, like if he could like suck into himself into the chair, that's what I cannot <laughs> it imagine. Is. I do believe I do Honey. believe that's a violation of the restraining order as well. <laughs> You know, it's one of those custody <laughs> visits that we have. I um, love it. I freaking love it. No, but it was during it. really the COVID, the pandemic, when we were really came together as a family. It took a huge thing to happen for you know, Yeah, but it was like to happen. They came to my but, house, they hadn't been there, and, and it was my yeah. birthday. Uh -huh. They threw a cake away that some girl had woman had made me. Okay. And they went through all you my cards. Like... <laughs> they went through all my cards. You had like 15 and I had mariachis cakes. playing. They're like, hey, break it up. Hey guys, come on. They, it Move was along. new rules. It was the new I, rules. I had mariachis play at my house. They gave them the wrong address. Dudes are five houses down. <laughs> Playing the mariachis. You know, I was like, yeah, it was crazy. Because I, lo I mean, I love it because you came in during COVID, yeah. and that was the birth of Lopez versus Lopez. Yes. Your experiences. First, first show to ever come from a TikTok, which is pretty. With, when you wild. were doing all your TikToks, and we, they took it and you crafted it into a sitcom. Yes. And I love it because it's all new tonight. I love, and it's so fun. I, I'm just so happy every time I see it and I see you and George together in it. But also, Mayan, this is like your season. I mean, you got mm. the sitcom. You're, I see you everywhere, Miss Fashion Queen. Oh. And <laughs> this has led to you judging on RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Look now, this has got to be a big, huge oh, pinch me moment to yes. be a judge. It really was. I, I joke now that I was like, I had to work with father to really get to work with mother. Uh-huh, uh -huh. uh-huh. No, but really, it was just the impetus of my career. I've been working my whole life almost yeah. together because that show has meant so much to me. And really, when watching that episode, you really see the joy that I have. Like, I'm, like, yeah. clapping like an, a little kid. It's so funny. Like, it's just... No, but I've been able to be vulnerable and just how vulnerable they all the queens are and the contestants, they... It, it's inspired me in my own life to be brave. Yes. And in my work. And th I think they are the most incredible creatures and artists. And I strive to hustle like a drag queen. That's, uh, that's hustle what. like a drag queen. And uh, we were sharing, and I was being um, in that in that picture. It's like the untucked uh, uh -huh. session. And one of the queens called me an insightful biatch. <laughs> Is that what and um, <laughs> that is now going on my gravestone. <laughs> this it. is me, my new baby. I'm captain. very excited, Mayan, because we're going to reveal the cast for RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. They're going to be here? on the show live on May 9th. So what? we're going to reveal oh the new cast. Oh my God. Yes, girl. 
So we Come have an affinity on, as with well. The exclusives? I, well, that's what I wanted yeah. to say. I figured mm -hmm. you would really be happy. Yes. Now, George, this is one thing. I wanted to take golf so long. I told Niecy Nash we were supposed to take lessons because yes. we mm. wanted to come to your golf tournament, right. and we still haven't taken our lessons. You got an annual celebrity golf outing soon. Everybody from Smokey Robinson to Joe Pesci attends. Like, what's it like golfing with these two? Well, you know, I played with those guys, and and I pretend like I'm their high school coach, you know? <laughs> yeah. So when they hit a bad shot, I'm like, hey, tears of a clown, back in the car. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> uh, and Joe Pesci is, is, uh, uh, is, an, is amazing, you know? I, yes. I, I don't comment on him, but also, um, he, he's just... A, <laughs> He's just a good friend. Why don't you comment on Joe Pesci? You know, I'll all the mobsters. Oh, no, I'll yeah, comment well, on Joe Pesci. I was dancing next to Joe Pesci, boging and doing the Footloose dance, as one does, and I just made him laugh and Joe laugh. Pesci from all the mobster yes! movies! I cracked him, sweetheart. boging. Oh, I my gosh, him. I love it. We're gonna have a good time.